Up to the next question. BLF writes, Hey Musti, I have three questions for you. Number one, what's your take on black characters in manga? Also, characters of other race. They seem not to have a prominent role, if any, in manga. My series, for instance, will follow a black protagonist that will be characters of other races. I just have not seen this done much in the manga community. Number two, what software do you recommend for editing manga, uh, Photoshop, manga studio, etc. And number three, what tips can you give us for toning? Thanks in advance. Your video series is awesome. Keep up the good work. I appreciate what you are doing for aspiring manga artists. Uh, well, about your first question, I do not agree. There are some black characters uh, already. Think about Afro Samurai or in Naruto, the Eight Tails and the Raikage. They have prominent roles in the stories. But if you take a look at manga characters, they aren't exactly Japanese looking and they aren't exactly Western or European looking either. When I look at a manga character, specifically the main characters that are telling the story, what I see is uh, like a reflection of what is inside of me, inside of us, as if they portray a mirrored reflection of our inner human. And next to that, manga characters, to me, are not really comparable with actual humans. I see them as a character, a creation, but with very human aspects to them, so we can relate to them. Like a Mickey Mouse or a Thundercats and Ninja Turtles. These are animal based characters but still have a human nature. Well, that's the same way I look at manga characters. So it doesn't matter which race the character has unless it's functional for the storytelling. If the race is an essential part of the telling. About question number two, what software would I recommend? I recommend both Manga Studio and Photoshop. If you would have to make a choice out of these two for making manga, then I would say Manga Studio. Especially if you want to create it digitally, but it's also a great software for post editing. I do everything digital for, for iPod Boy, and Manga Studio works great for that. I do the drawing, the inking, toning, effect lines, uh, speech bubbles, uh, all in Manga Studio and only use Photoshop for adding the sound effects. It's much easier to do with uh, Photoshop to do the sound effects because you can, yeah, well, change the text a bit more easier. Now, about your question number three about tips for toning, it's a very open question, so I answer it on a mustiaki way, understanding why you use certain tones. Now, manga is all about expression. So, if there's something like, say, a, a tra something tragically happens and you want to give it more expression, then toning could help with that. Uh, the way I learned about toning is studying a lot of other manga. Try to understand why they use toning in this panel and not in that panel. Uh, understand what is being told, what is being expressed. You know what worked for me a lot? Uh, just get a manga and get a picture where there is toning in it and ask yourself, would it have the same impact, telling or expression, if they would leave the toning out of this panel? If the answer is yes, and it would have the same impact, then it could be that it's just there for a better visual spread over the page. But in most cases, it's there to highlight something in the telling, and it's a way of pointing something out. If you like this video, then super smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our How To Bam YouTube channel. It's a great way for staying updated for the latest shows and videos. If you also have a question about making manga that you want to be answered on our show, then send in your email to info at howtoban.com. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter for some great giveaways and prizes.